Christianity and Islam are big religions, even whose members in it disagree with each other. Christians sometimes disagree with other Christians, and even the Muslims themselves disagree with other Muslims. Hello there dear friends, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we'll be talking about Christianity versus Islam. For the purpose of this video, we will only be talking about the evangelical Christianity and the traditional Islam. So in the case of Islam, we'll not be talking about the different branches like Shia and Sunni. And for Christianity, we'll not be talking about Orthodox or even the Catholics. Okay, let's get started. There are three differences between the Christians and the Muslims. The first difference is that the Christians believe that Jesus Christ is God and Muslims believe Jesus was just a man, a prophet who was well respected but nevertheless just a man. Number two, Christians believe that Jesus died and rose again on the third day. Muslims, no. Jesus was just a man. How could he possibly rise from the dead? In fact, they actually believe it was Judas who was crucified on the cross, not Jesus. So yeah. Number three, Christians believe that it is by faith that will get you closer to God and in heaven if you believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior and you repent of your sins you will see him in heaven someday on the other hand Muslims believe that you have to keep the five pillars yeah which is so hard as you know human beings cannot even keep up their schedule or habits or any New Year's resolutions for a long time so to get to heaven you have to walk that's what Islam believes so there you have it my dear friends Islam versus Christianity Christianity versus Islam just before closing I want to tell you that I am a proud Christian and I am so grateful that Jesus came to die for me on the cross and all I have to do is believe in him I don't have to fast or pray or go anywhere or keep up with how good I am as a person none of those all I have to do is believe that Christ is the Son of God and he died and rose again by faith and I'm loved I don't have to do any other thing what about you my dear friends you've seen the differences and if you would like to, for me to go deeper into these two topics please go ahead and leave a comment below but where would you place your soul for eternity would you place it in, a, in the hands of a God who wants you to do things to receive love from him or a God who just asks for you to love him and have faith that he died for you if you are a Muslim or a Christian, I would highly recommend the book of Nabil Qureshi, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. And I'll put the link on the description below so you can find it. It's really good. And he went into detail explaining the key differences between Christianity and Islam. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If you like it, please go ahead and like, share, and comment so that this gospel of Jesus Christ can be spread everywhere.